Hi, Jared from Photo to Canvas here, and I'm coming back to my Fine Art and Photo Printing 101 series of videos. Today we're going to talk about ICC profiles. They are essential to getting accurate colors when printing. You might have heard of ICC profiles if you've printed before and you've done any of this, any of the research. Um, when you're printing from your software, say Photoshop, for example, it's going to ask you if you want your printer to manage the colors or for your software. If you let your printer manage the colors, it's going to do what it thinks is best based on what kind of paper you're telling it you're using, etc. Now, if you want it more accurate, you need to install an ICC profile that is specific to your medium. So an ICC profile is the piece of software that is going to work with your software um, to tell your printer what to do. So how much ink to spray down, for example, thick matte papers are going to absorb more ink than glossy papers. And, and it's important that your printer knows how much of each color, all of that information to get your colors right. So instead of printer managed colors, this is where you're going to select Photoshop manages colors or whatever software you're using. And then you're going to go in and you're going to select the ICC profile that you have installed, which I will show you how to do on a Mac. Now you're going to get your ICC profile from your paper manufacturer's website. Many of these are also going to offer AM1 files. AM1 files are what actually go on your printer. So some printers, my Canon Pro 4000, for example, will let you add these settings to the printer themselves. So when you load the paper in the printer, you can select the specific paper. But a lot of other manufacturers just send you to use the proper pre-installed profile on that machine. So I'll show you for the Moab Fine Art Paper I use, they tell you to use Canon's high density art paper setting that's already on the printer. But that's just the setting for your printer. For your software, you're actually gonna use their specific ICC profile that they have created for your printer and their paper. So again, you can find these on the paper manufacturer's website, and I'll show you now how to install them. All right, so here we are at Moab's website. Um, we see ICC profiles right here. I clicked that. Enter the printer you have. In this case, we are installing to my Canon Pro 4000. So Canon, Canon Image Direct Pro 4000. Now down here, the papers. We are installing the profile for Entrada. Entrada rag natural cold press 300 now right here the highest density fine art paper that is the media type setting when printing so that means that there is not an am1 file to install on your printer that means when you put the paper in your printer you're going to go and your printer asks you what kind of paper it is you're going to say that it is the pre-installed high density fine art paper and you're going to do the same in your um, software when you're printing, which we will get to in a bit. Then here is the link to download the profile. If you click this, it is going to bring you up, up the offer to download the ICC profile. So you dot ICC at the end. All right, so go ahead and download that. I already have downloaded it, so I don't need to download it again. So here's the file we downloaded. Now I'm going to show you where to put it. This is your Macintosh hard drive, your library folder. Within your library folder, you have the color sync folder. Whoops, blah, 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 color sync, profiles. And you're just going to drag this, plop it in there. All right, now you need to restart Photoshop. All right, so here we are back in Photoshop. I clicked Command P to print this image. Now this is where it says printer manages colors. Um, and I said, we're gonna change it from that to Photoshop manages colors. But first we're gonna set up your print settings. So go up here, select the printer you're gonna use, Canon Pro 4000 print settings. All right, now it's set at Mac Canvas, this paper size. We're gonna ignore the size because we're not actually printing this. I don't even know what size it is. Um, so let's see, color matching. You're gonna select color sync. Now automatic right here means it's gonna do whatever you end up telling it to do here. So you don't need to adjust this right now. Just make sure it's on color sync. If it was on 
printer manages colors, then it would be Canon color matching and it would do what the printer thinks is best, which is not what we want. Quality and media. This is where we're going to go to what they said on Moab's website. Highest density fine art paper. All right, and then you're going to select roll, sheets, print quality, whatever, whatever you want to do in there. Um, and that's it. You need to do your size. I guess this is actually 20 by 30. So we'll go up to my paper size. 20 by 30, we'll say it's going to be a border. Save. All right, now that's our preview. So we're going to go here and we're going to change this to Photoshop manages colors. Now you pick your pre your profile. So we're going to go down. Let's see if there is a Moab Entrada Natural Cold Press Pro 4000 Highest Density Fine Art Paper. Boom. Now you click print and that is it. We're not going to do that because I'm not actually printing it, but that's all there is to it. So that's it. It's pretty easy. Um, just make sure you restart your software after you install the profiles. I also wanted to add that I saw recently one of my paper manufacturers, um, they have a M one X files, which now you install that and it automatically installs the profile and installs the, the AM one file on your printer. It does everything. Um, but typically you're just going to get a dot ICC file from the website that you install on your software. So that's it for this lesson. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Thanks.